everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back aboard K206 as we try to intercept a NATO carrier task force in the Central Atlantic. I do think we have made contact with it, however, there was an enemy submarine patrolling awfully close to the task force, so we may have intercepted that uh, first. However, we have two contacts, Sierra 1 and Sierra 2, so we're going to begin the process of identifying them. Uh, real fast, wow. It is very quiet today, it looks like can pick out this target rather easily. Let's check cargo ships just to see. Uh, yeah. Um, I have a feeling this may be a cargo vessel of some sort. It's just so loud. There we go. Yeah, it sure is. Sierra 2 is awfully quiet. That very well could be a sub. This looks like another cargo ship. Let's just flip through these really fast. We are, we're at periscope depth. I could raise the scope and just check. Trawler. Okay, let's raise the ES. Oh, we're at 46 meters, excuse me. Periscope depth, please. Sierra 2 then. I do think we have encountered the enemy submarine. We have one stallion loaded up, and it looks like, for once, there's not an absurd amount of ice around us. The boat is currently rigged for silent running as well. She is awfully close as well, 8.5 kilometers away, although our solution's only at 37%, so that very well could be inaccurate. And we completely lost her. She may have gone below the layer. We're just going to hop up to PD, scope out these two ships. Although I'm fairly confident that they are neutral. Okay, the boat is at 19 meters currently. There we go. Raise the ESM mass. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, still nothing. Up periscope. Yep, there we go. That's the trawler. Let's mark that. Not that it really matters. I don't know why it's not marking. Oh well. Not important. I'm really just doing this for fun. We haven't raised the periscope too much in this series as opposed to like our 1968 campaign. Down scope and lower the ESM mass. Let's go below the layer and find this enemy submarine. See, down to 137. What's the layer at? Layer's at 68 meters. We'll go down to 76. Just go right beneath it. Our, our towed array was retracted, I guess, this close to the surface. So we'll deploy that here once we get a bit deeper. Want to maintain our five knot speed. I don't see any reason to go any faster or slower at the moment. Okay, deploy our tilt array. Okay, let's try to figure out what this guy is. Those two little uh, marks right there are fairly distinct. Churchill? No. Hmm. This is interesting. I wonder what this could be. It's not a Churchill because those first uh, few frequencies don't line up. Let's change course. Okay, let's go a bit deeper as well. We lost her. 
Okay, so maybe she is operating above the lair. Okay, in that case, come back up. Sierra 4. Are, okay, let's maintain this step then. Okay, so there's possibly two enemy subs here. Yeah, Valiant. Oh boy. Remember the last time we encountered a uh, British sub? Interesting. It doesn't look... Okay, yeah, this is... Pretty outdated. Um... Interesting. Let's go ahead and use some time compression. We'll see what's cooking. Uh, let's go back down to 91 meters and keep tabs on Sierra 4. Okay. I'm gonna hop back above the layer then. Still don't have anything. There we go. Okay, Sierra 2 has been reestablished. This was the first possible submarine that we've been looking at. It, let's go through the cargo ships one more time. Um, Sierra 4 is definitely a sub. There we go. It's a whale. Okay, so we found our enemy submarine, Sierra 4. What were we looking at? It was possible, uh, it looked like a British sub. It was like a Valiant. Oh, it's not a Valiant. Churchill, that's probably, yeah, it's probably a Churchill to be honest. Those two lines uh, lined up fairly well with it, if I remember correctly. The hell, Sierra 5. It's another whale. <laughs> okay, let's go through the whales real fast, just to double check. Yeah, it's another whale. Okay, go back below the layer. This is interesting. Churchill. We will see what's going on once we uh, reacquire it. I must I must admit, I kind of forgot its exact uh, layout here. Yeah, this is a real game of cat and mouse here. There's lots of contacts. The whales had me tripped up for quite a while there. If it is a Valiant, these torpedoes are not as uh, intimidating as, say, like the tigerfish uh, torpedoes, which I'd much rather not tangle with. We will see, though. We're going to continue to hunt this enemy submarine, because why the heck not? In real life, an Oscar would not... You know, I mean, the best course of action would be just to leave <laughs> and just slip away, but... Um, this makes things a little more exciting, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, currently at 107 meters. And who knows, we may not even pick up our, uh, our NATO friend here. Let's change course. 155. I'm not going to go active to find her. That would be stupid, especially if it does have these tigerfish torpedoes. These things are rather intimidating. Okay, let's see here. Let's double check Valiant. Swisher. Could be either of these, however. 
I do think it is a Swifter. That would make more sense. Very quiet. It does have the Tigerfish and the Spearfish torpedoes. So I think... Let's head straight towards her. We're going to try to maneuver into her baffles and then we will fire. I want... This is going to be risky. Let's see. She's going to hear this. Let's try to reload a stallion real quickly. Get two of them loaded. Okay. We're still safe. Nice and easy. There we go. Break for ultra quiet. Just in case we lose contact, I'm going to mark her general course. Okay, we have a pretty good beat on her, however. I'm debating going above the layer and making turns for 10 knots to try to close in here. What's her speed? 12 knots. Problem is that towed array. Fogger. Okay. Oh yeah, very similar profiles. And honestly, the, the only difference is something I really couldn't see. So yeah. Makes sense. That's fine. She's turning. That's not good. Okay, come up right up to the lair. 76 meters, please. What's her depth? Oh, wow. She's way down there. At... Holy cow. Really down there. Hmm, that's gonna make it difficult for our uh, our stallions to get all the way down there. I think. Jeez, Louise, three hundred, almost four hundred meters, probably. That's nuts. I mean, we can match that, but we can't fire our stallions that deep. I don't think. Okay, we're in our baffle, so now's as good a time as any. Negative 50 on all sensors. All right. Fire one. There. And there. Let's try to reload another one real fast. <laughs> there they go. Still in our baffles. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, boys. I wouldn't mind dropping a third one on her while we're still in our baffles before she can hear the launch. We shall see though. Let's, let's check on our weapons. Okay, and it's dropping. It's disengaged from its rocket booster and the chute is deployed. Splash right on top of her. Okay, there's a counter launch, surprisingly. Okay, fire another one. How the hell does she know where I am? Oh, she went active, that's how. Okay, our one of our torpedoes is heading straight down towards her, probably. Okay, this makes things interesting. Let's turn away <laughs> for one and start making turns for 10 knots. Retract our total ray. Okay, both torpedoes are swimming around her. We also have number three dropping out of the sky. Oh, it's starting to rain. Okay. And stallion number three has splashed. Where is it? Oh, we can't see it exactly, but it's pretty close to our other torpedoes. I could go active, but I'd rather not. Let's deploy our tow array. Okay, we have one torpedo heading this way and one heading this way. I could try to split the hair here and go right in between the two. Um, let's try that. Okay, 
We don't. Yeah, she just kind of shotgunned. At least it's only two torpedoes. Presuming they're probably spearfish or tigerfish torpedoes. More noisemakers are being dropped. She's definitely in trouble. We don't have a good beat on her, but that's okay. See what depth are her torpedoes running at? I have, I think they're running at around 400 meters, so I'm not too worried about it just yet. And I don't even think she could get a completely accurate beat on us with even active. Okay, we have a good solution on the Trafalgar. Let's find her. There we go. Oh, she's already been hit. Uh, my sonar operator did not report an explosion, but she has a big blast mark on the side there. Not looking too good. Now we just have to evade her torpedoes. I love these stallions, though. As long as they're not, uh, you're not fighting an ice, contact is faded. As long as there's not sheets of ice above you, they are fantastic. Okay, our torpedo is running straight for the target's last known location. I think this is it right here. Okay, torpedo disappeared. So that means we either hit it, she's still actively pinging though, so we probably just lost contact on it. I don't think we're getting a good... Okay, let's go above the layer for the time being. 61 meters, please. Reestablish contact. Well, we're about to lose contact, mostly just to get out of the way of these torpedoes heading straight for us. This has been... This has been fun. See, I love this sort of thing. All right. Use some time compression. More noisemakers. She's still evading. We can actually take a look at her. Still only one. Oh, we have our torpedo coming right for her. Looks like we came in at the right time. We're going to see her get hit. Torpedo impact. Okay, and now retract the toad array. All ahead flank. Drop a noisemaker. Get down, get down. Okay, the enemy torpedo has locked onto us. These things are very, very dangerous, as we have found. Okay, we need to drop fast. Fast, fast, fast. Get under. Okay, there's the enemy torpedo right there. Passing 120 meters, the torpedo is going for the noisemaker. Okay, rudder zero. These things are fast as hell, too. Okay, this other one is going for our noisemaker. Keep going down. 240. Two hundred and seventy. Three hundred. Three sixty. Knuckle. Beautiful. Uh, another knuckle, please. Give me something. Okay, the torpedo is missed. Oh, no, it came back. Fuck. Propulsion offline. That's not good. Okay, what's our speed? Rudder amidships. Drop a noisemaker. Get a Moss out there. Okay, 
партия. Входим в турбинный отсек. Try to get those repairs out and come back up. Get away from this torpedo. Kind of attempted to blow ballast. I'm actually very tempted. Hopefully that'll get us away from the torpedo. There's nothing on the surface. Uh, let's do it. We gotta start coming up fast and get away from this thing. 450, okay, we're coming up very rapidly now. Looks like the torpedo is heading for our MOS, or our MG-74, excuse me. Propulsion is still being repaired. Holes at 62%. It is very difficult to evade in this massive loaf. <laughs> I I gotta say. It's just so so big and it responds so slowly. Passing 270 and torpedo still fiddle farting around below us. Um that's concerning. It's going right underneath. You can see it there. Passing 210 meters. What is our MOS up to? What is it doing? Okay, the torpedo exploded. We're safe. 90 meters. Uh, well, let's watch this thing hit the surface like this. Awesome. It, it even emergency surfaces so slowly. It's just so big. And it's not like dodging torps in the, uh, in the Akula. Well, it should be clear to leave. Let's leave combat. Sunk one Trafalgar. We did take one torpedo hit, but that's okay. Uh, continue the mission. All right. And here we go. I think this is the carrier strike group. We are currently going 10 knots. Status report. Let's load in some more torpedoes. We'll take one stallion and one MG-74. We have two left, so. And P-700s. All right, let's close. Okay. Time to identify some of these targets. It's going to be quite a few. Let's see, damage control propulsion. Figured that would have been repaired by now, but I'm hoping we won't need it. Okay, rig for silent. Okay, we're already being pinged quite a bit. Perry. Let's look for these cargo ships. There's just so many ships and I'm on a time crunch here. US fleet oiler, no. We'll just go with this. I know it's not entirely accurate. But that's okay. I'd rather have something there than nothing. Okay, it's a trawler. That's a trawler. This right here looks like a warship. Belknap. Okay, 
currently hanging at periscope depth. Let's go a little deeper than that. I only have a handful of targets here. That's surprising. Oh boy. It's a P3 flying overhead. That's not good. Okay, it's actually a Nox. Interesting, we don't have more enemies. Okay, here we go. Zero five. Is this just another neutral ship? I'm, I'm surprised these carrier uh, strike groups let neutral shipping so close to them. Um, just looking for anything where these first three lines line up, but I'm not seeing it. My quick scans. We'll go with this. That looks close enough. Fleet oil tanker. I'm halfway tempted to launch. Let's come up above the lair. Problem is, I'm very close to being detected already. I wonder if this even is our primary target. If this is just a small surface ship group here, this isn't even the carrier task force. They're coming for me. Let's see if that plane's nearby. I say I just go ahead and fire at them now. Yeah, I'm going to. Got minimum range here. Okay, fire a moss. And down we go. I'm sure they're counter firing. Yep, there we go. Okay, all ahead flank, or as fast as we can go. Okay, got one. Got two. Second explosion there. Oh no, did they all three hit them? Hit the Nox? Okay. Tanker ate it. I think multiple ended up hitting Sierra One, unfortunately. Well, that's two. Okay, we have enemy torpedoes dropping in the water. There's an aircraft flying right overhead, so no surprise. I think it's time to leave. I don't think this was the carrier strike group, to be honest. Okay, level out right here. Looks like our moss is going right by those uh, enemy torpedoes there. 
Yep, there goes the enemy Nox. And obviously the fleet oiler was not a fleet oiler, it was in fact an enemy destroyer. That's okay. Use some time compression. Interesting. I guess this was just a uh, ASW group. That plane's continuing to fly right overhead. Let's go a bit deeper. Maybe picking us up on MAD and stuff. So let's go down to like 300, 350. I don't want to push it though because our hole is a little damaged. So let's just uh, let's just go to 300 meters, okay? I think we're going to break contact. I don't think this was the carrier group. I was fairly confident it was, but we only picked up three enemy warships. And plus this P3 keeps flying over. Uh, don't drop a torpedo. Thank you. It's only just sniffing around. Is there any more pings? Yeah, we're not being actively pinged or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I think this just was a destroyer group. Nothing more. I guess we'll find out when we leave the mission, but I'm going to get out of here, especially with our hull damage like this. I don't want to take any, take any chances. Okay, more torpedoes are being dropped in the water. Let's change horse slightly. That's interesting that they're dropping torpedoes here. I don't understand that. When this P3 stops buzzing overhead, I may go back up to periscope depth or, you know, 40 meters or whatnot, just to scope it out and uh, possibly fire a couple more missiles and try to get CR3, I guess. I'm feeling relatively safe now. Let's deploy our toad array. There we go. Picking her up. Is this the only contact? Yeah, it is. It's the only thing. If there was an aircraft carrier, I think we would hear it. Not like they're the quietest things afloat. Yeah, I think it's just another bell nap. That's it. And that's not worth engaging. Risking our boat over. Yeah, it's pinging us though. Okay, let's come up. I am worried more about the uh, P3 that's buzzing around. <sighs> we'll see how this goes. How many uh, P700s do we have? 12. We'll probably uh, head back to Mermance to rearm. Okay, let's kill the time compression. Need to be above 47 meters. Okay. I could fire a Cheval. Cheval, excuse me. I think the, the P700 is just such a fantastic weapon, though. We'll, we'll go with it. And yeah, P3's over there, so we can expect that will give us a little bit of hell once we fire. There she is. Okay, fire. And down we go. See you later. Let's dive the boat. Let's look at our missile. Looking good. <laughs> Heading straight for the target. Good old shipwreck. Oh, there's the P3 coming right for us. Oh, here we go. It's going to hit. There's their counter. Oh. It's their counter launch. Okay, make turns for 10 knots. Reload a Moss. Yeah, and retract our total ray. Oh, is she still afloat? Wow, I am impressed. Hmm, in that case. Do I wanna do I wanna try to fire? 
one of these. The problem is they have to, they're wake homing, so they have to cross the target's wake, and it's really just guesswork at this point. I didn't think I'd need to double tap it. Okay, torpedoes in the water. Let's turn away from that. <laughs> okay, level out here. We still want to keep turning, uh, hard to port though and try to get away from that. Interesting. I am, I'm just surprised. I'm very surprised. It's still okay. If we get a, if we happen to get a decent solution on it, then I will fire one of our weight combing torpedoes at it. Zero five. Classified as Nox. Oh yeah, the one that's sinking? Okay, that's fine. It looks like we lost contact on her. Okay, their torpedo exploded. Deploy our tow array. Go down to five knots. Might as well sink it at this point, you know? See if we can get a decent solution. I'll fire a torpedo at her. Uh, let's go to 46 meters once again. Oh! Contact's breaking up. She sunk. Awesome. That's pretty great. I actually have not really seen a ship go down after you've hit it once in this game. Um, I didn't know they would actually take on flooding and sink after a while. So that's actually pretty cool to see. I wonder if that's a feature of the mod. Most of the time, whenever I have a ship burning, it just burns forever <laughs> until I pop another torpedo into it. But Okay, cool. Well, that should clear everything up. Yep, no, nothing nearby. Leave combat. And that's all there was. There was just two Noxes and one Belknap. 16,000 tons. I really thought this was a carrier group, but I suppose not, obviously. Excellent initiative. At least they they were happy with it. And I think we need to go back to Murmansk. The carrier task force is supposed to make a patrol in the Central Atlantic. Uh, it doesn't look like that's it right there. So I think we'll have plenty of time to rearm and repair and head back out to sea. We've been mighty lucky in this boat, though. Okay. Rearm and repair. First off, repairs, please. 48 hours in port for those repairs. Let's get those done. Load more granites. Four MG74s, another couple of stallions. We have quite a bit to uh, reload. We'll have eight. Yeah, this is this is a fine loadout. VLS, we're in at port for 82 hours. Do I want to load more? Might as well get them all in there. All right, cast off anchors away. And now we will begin the hunt for that carrier task force. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was quite an interesting one, especially that duel with the British submarine. But anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.